This is Luke and Elliot Mears of the Noob Review, and today we're looking at El Shaddai. Uh, Elliot, please say the full title because I always say the wrong thing. It's it's El Shaddai: Ascension of the Metatron, <laughs> not Megatron. No, not the Ascension of Megatron. <laughs> So, uh, can you tell us a little bit about this game? I mean, it, it's already got a very distinctive uh, visual style right from the outset. Yeah, um, the the game is uh, the the first uh, directed production from uh, Saki Takayasu, who did character designs on, I believe, Devil May Cry three, and also on Orkami, um, which you can you can probably get some hint of that from looking at its its, its distinctive art style, um, and it's based on the apocryphal. Uh, Jewish text, the Book of Enoch, which is currently not believed to be true by anybody in the world, as far as I'm aware. Um, and it was originally supposed to have been written by the grandfather of Noah, uh, talks about the fall of seven angels uh, to earth, and describes his various visits to heaven over a period of many years. So this is a, a semi-biblical game. It's a biblical game, basically, yeah. I mean, it, it's sort of Bible, the director's cut, you know, it's, it's bits where... <laughs> Um, the religious authorities sort of sat around and thought, "Now we don't like that anymore." Um, and it, it's 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 got its own distinctive take on it. Of course, you know, there's, as you can see, Enoch himself here is wearing a pair of jeans, which were um, before this demo started given to him as a gift by Satan. <laughs> okay, so uh, tell us a little how it plays. It looks quite similar to Devil May Cry. <laughs> yes, um, it's it does. <laughs> It does play uh, not uh, dissimilarly to Devil May Cry, but um, much more simplified in, in its approach. Uh, you don't, uh, at least based on what's shown here, you're not able to switch between fighting styles. Um, although you do switch through weapons by disarming um, your opponents, uh, which cha completely changes the way that you fight. There's only one attack button, um, which can be... Um, altered by um, charging the length of time that you, you hold the attack down okay. for various um, levels of strength attack. And also, uh, while pressing the attack button uh, during a block, uh, you will perform a um, aerial attack, which will knock the enemy up into the air and allow you to juggle them. Uh, but basically, the combat is, is based largely around uh, wearing down an enemy's defences and then depriving them of their weapon, taking it off them and using it to beat them to death. I see. So that's what you're doing right now. That's that's exactly what he's doing right there. I think we've got this sort of floaty thing, and I've 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 been up uh, and taken uh, its magical floaty gun off it, and now using it to destroy them. So one of the other things I've noticed is there's no HUD, no heads-up display, no nope. indication of your health. Oh, no, nothing at all. So how do you tell? if you are badly damaged um, or not. As you get hit, uh, you can perhaps see here if it's clear enough, uh, as, as you get hit, uh, sections of Enoch's armour will become chipped off uh, and of course then replaced as you pick up health pickups. Oh, so it doesn't have uh, regenerating health? It doesn't then. have regenerating health. No, what it, what it does is um, this, the screen sort of starts to flash red when you're about to die and when you're actually hit, it's possible to hammer the front two bumpers and the um, the face buttons and actually recover all your health before you hit the ground. So if you're attentive and have got quick reactions, you need not die at any point in the game, so far as I can see so far. Okay, so now it looks like you're coming up to a boss fight. Is there any idea who this actually is? Or I haven't got a clue. I, I assume he is... The background story here is that Enoch has been dispatched to take on seven fallen angels who have decided they're going to flood the earth and uh, annihilate humanity. Now since e Enoch is uh, the grandfather of Noah, I don't know if there's going to be some sort of twist at the end where they actually do it. Yeah. Um, but I, I believe this guy is one of the, the fallen angels and th this is basically an unwinnable boss fight. Um, he, he's, he's just destined to completely thrash you and you have to come back and take him on a bit later. Case in point, right here. Exactly. Yeah. So you mentioned that uh, Satan is one of the main characters in this, mm -hmm. and he he doesn't seem to be in an entirely antagonistic role. No, the game is set before he has fallen from grace. I so see. He's um, he's actually your mentor character, um, and who you know gives you a present of lovely jeans. <laughs> um, 
in a, I, I don't know if they've got any combat potential. Uh, they, they are actually, I can't remember the brand now, but they are actually a real world brand. It's a case of product placement in, in the game. I see. Um, just before that boss fight previously, I think I did see Satan there talking on his mobile phone. Yes, Satan was talking on his mobile phone. I don't know if the brand of the mobile is mentioned, but he, he was um, just sort of uh, explaining that he's uh, busy at the moment teaching you how to use weapons. Oh. And uh, perhaps whoever it was that wanted to talk to him, call back later.